PO420, which is catalyst efficiency below threshold, I believe, bank one. And I'm not sure what the PD means on that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try a trick that I found online. It's called a spark plug defiler. So I spent five bucks on these things. You couple them one in front of the other. You, you plug this thing into your catalytic converter first so it's like a filter so then and then your O2 sensor goes in that it makes the reading a lot farther away from the catalytic converter So your best bet is to use a breaker bar along with your O2 sensor socket. Um, also, don't be afraid to heat up the converter with a propane torch in order to expand the metal. So step four, we're gonna secure one of our spark plug defoulers into the vise uh, and drill a hole into it using a half inch drill bit. You want to keep the drill as straight as possible so you don't damage the inside threads. All right, so we got the uh, we got the hole drilled out, and this was really this was the whole point of doing that. Is this now can go all the way through? Make, just make sure that. Uh, there's no shards of metal, you know, in the threads or anything. When you screw that in, you want it to look just like that, so nothing's touching. You want to give the O2 sensor a gentle cleaning uh, with an old shirt, just kind of rub off the oxidation. The kit that I bought was the uh, 42009. It actually came with two. Uh, gaskets so you don't want to forget about those so I'm going to go ahead and apply some anti-seize onto the threaded parts uh, this is not a required step but it's highly recommended now don't go crazy with this stuff you really only need a small amount on each threaded piece and uh, you also want to make sure that you don't get any on the sensor itself So we're going to put the first piece in, which is the piece we did not drill, uh, the end out. So I just put a little little tiny bit more anti-seize on, and we do have the gasket on. And we're going to put that inside the original. Snug that down. Now remember, this is aluminum. So you don't want to go too crazy. I would say get it so the gasket is mushed in there and you're good. sensor back in. And here you just want to get the clip back in there.
Alright. So now what I'm doing is I'm just checking to make sure that there's no air leaks coming out of this. So it just seems like it's okay. And the last step we're going to do is clear the, uh, the maintenance required Like It's real easy, uh, just get the keys in the ignition. Um, while the keys are off, or the ignition is set to off, you want to hold your trip meter down for 5 seconds. And then you want to go ahead and turn the ignition on. You don't have to start the car up, just turn the ignition on. So you want to keep holding the trip meter down until you see the light go out. Ah, look at that. No more check engine light. No more maintenance required light. Hopefully that check engine light doesn't reappear. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it, obviously. We're looking good, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys later.